Because at the end of the day, no one can decide who you are but yourself. No one has that ability but you. So why not be who you want to be? True that, true that. What about uh, what about education and training? See, let me let me tell you a quick story and tell me uh, what you think because you are a business owner. About two weeks ago, I overheard another employee talking to another employee, and his exact words was, uh, "College cannot teach you how to own and run your own business." So me being a, a, a educated guy, I butted in and I said, you're absolutely wrong because it can teach you, especially if you don't know. So how do you, how do you feel about that? And especially that statement coming from a brother. Well, being the fact that I did get my college education, um, I can say that college education was key to having the fundamentals as far as growing my own business. Um, like I said, end of the day, being your own business is a lifestyle. Most people go to college to get a career, not really have their own business. So when you want to get in business for yourself, that's actually a lifestyle you have to choose. It isn't something that's taught. But the fundamentals from schooling is key because knowledge is power. Yes, indeed. And uh, the, the statement coming from this brother, it definitely, it definitely surprised me. Because uh, just like you said, I always had the business mind, but I, I guess it was the fundamentals, exactly what you said that, that helped me out in college. So tell the people where they can find you at. Tell me your outlets, uh, all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, you can, well, as of right now, my Austin's Accounting Service website is uh, down at the moment. I'm about to have it back up with a new platform. Um, you can still look at the information on my old site at latrobeaccountant.com. Um, for my travel, you can go to romaway.takationonline.com. Or you can give me a call at 412 412- And you heard that live, baby. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for calling in. Uh, And I wish you luck in your future endeavors. Thank you for being on the turn. Thanks for having me on tonight. Peace. That's how we do, baby. We support anything indie. Because it's all about indie here at to turn that up entertainment show. Yes, and like he said, uh, you can be successful without going to college. Yes, there are many success stories with people that didn't go to college, people that might have been uh, high school dropouts. But I guarantee you that somewhere along the line, they went back for schooling and when that happens that's that's very special because there are some things that you should know especially when it comes to business and like he said it's the fundamentals the fundamentals that you are taught all right next up we got my man dark stacks we're gonna call him up pick his brain and now we we can talk about the uh, the state of Philly hip hop to him because you know he from Philly here OG. He know what it is. All right, so let's uh let's keep it moving. You know what I mean? Cause I'm uh I'm feeling this. I'm a bag right now. Matter of fact, you no, know we gonna do we gonna uh we gonna go to a song first. All right, then we are gonna call stacks up. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody 
is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point and finger saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm the crappiest of all time. Of all time, my goons get depressing if you trying to cross lines. Cross lines if you want, and you get hog tied. Hog tied in the basement where the dogs cry. Got these zombies out here lurking on the sidewalks, crying over rick and mortars like it's my fault. This the city that'll chew you up without a thought. I promise, Billy, not the city for the loud bark. They fake trap, fake rumble, fake rap. Till they so end up on somebody face set. Weapons make you leave your feet just from the kickback. Ashes turn the urns and the urns into knickknacks. I ain't future, I ain't Fetty, I ain't Drake. Refuse to sell out just for a namesake. No namesakes for namesake, please no namesakes. Corny is contagious, man, please don't let it ventilate. Don't let it breathe. I'm the last of a dying breed. Fighting back new waves like a dinosaur creed. Climbing to the top, got the fire under me. For me, I'm the crappiest of all time. Bow down to the goat. I'm the crappiest of all time. Bow down to the goat. It's one thing that I gotta know. Is you really down the ride when that chopper blow? Is you really about them lyrics or just about the flow? If you really about that war, then it's time to go. No time to hesitate, dog. We ain't playing ball. The bigger the body, the harder that I make it fall. I'm David and Goliath wrapped up in one body, dog. Built like a tank, but I move like a bus saw. What you want? What you want? What you want from me? Got the pumping arms reach if they come for me. If they come for me, they might just succeed. But I don't run from nothing, so let them go for me. I'm the crappiest of all time. I'm the crimeiest of all times. Bow down to the goat. I'm the crimeiest of all times. Bow down to the goat. I'm the crimeiest of all times. Bow down to the goat. Bow down to the goat. Indie artist, music at its best, baby. Turn up entertainment. Wednesday night, city of brotherly love. It's getting chilly, baby. It's getting chilly in Philly. It's getting chilly in Philly, but it's hot on the streets. All right, but we're going to keep it moving. All right, we about to call my man Dark Stacks. We're going to pick his brain, see what's popping. Stacks got that new, got that new mixtape coming out. Don't quit your day job. Keep your night job, though. Let's see what's popping with him. Yo. Yo, what's good, Playboy? What's good, Mike? Chilling, you live on the Turn That Up Entertainment Show. This is the Late Show, baby. All right, before this interview start, I can cuss, right? Yeah, as long as you ain't doing too much cussing. Say no more. So it's about fucking time I'm on the show, man. The <laughs> boy Dark Stacks, man. Kush Gang, T.O.G. Stacks fan. We up in here, man. What's good? <laughs> yeah, that was funny right there. <laughs> but see, what you don't know, you might not have been on the show physically, but your music dance show have been spinning. Now, I know you be playing the songs, and I appreciate the love, man. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Playboy, uh, let the people know what you're working on. 
Hey, man, well, right now I got the Don't Quit Your Day Job mixtape right now. It's officially done. Should be dropping October 29th. 24 joints. I got everybody on it that's in my camp. My man Chief Stacks, Rich Stacks, my man Ralston, Crush Stacks, Cigars. Like, I got everybody on the joint, man. 24 hot tracks, man. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so what's your... What's your favorite track on there? What should, you know, let people know what tracks they should be looking out, looking out for all the good stuff. I mean, I don't have one particular track that's hot because to me, all of them hot. But if I could pick one, it'd be the song about my mom. I really love that one. Oh, uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's un- you got to send me that one. Make sure you, uh, oh, yeah, I got you. Make sure you send me that, you know, because we all got to show, we got to show mother's love. So, right. uh, have you have you heard anything or what do you know about this uh this Benz getting knocked out thing and you know his Benz about to listen, be with me Mills. What do you what are your thoughts on that? You being from the streets of Philly. I mean it's it's corny for real, for real. Cause it's making it it's making it making Philly look bad, but I mean it ain't my beef, man. I ain't got shit to do with none of that. You know what I mean? What they eat don't make me shit. I stay in my lane, man. I'm not even on that. I'm on some Kush Gang shit, T.O.G. Stacks fan movement right now. You know what? I hear everybody say that too. A lot of, a lot of artists saying that. So, so like so it is making uh, making the city look nutty. And let me ask you this: that you don't think, you don't think uh, making some type of, uh, some type of this song to throw out there, the, you don't think that would help? You as an indie artist, maybe like somebody might hear it or some shit like that. People start saying, "You know who this boy?" That this song to the gang. Not necessarily directed towards the gang, but listen, if I got beef with anybody, I, I, I'm airing it out. I don't give a fuck if it's on wax, if I see him in the street or anything. If I got beef with him, I'm airing out. I don't got beef with nobody. I'm just worried about making my music. And my mixtape that's dropping out on October 29th. That's all I'm worried about. See, that's what I'm talking about. Nah, man, I got my man Ross team up in here. You know, we got the cush up in the air, Mike. You know how we do. What up, what up, what up? What up? Okay, okay, okay. Cush so, gang, man. Cush gang in the building, that's what I'm talking about. You already know, man. We here. Cush gang. So you got, uh, what other projects you working on? You got any shows coming up that you want to share with the people? I mean, I got a couple of shows lined up, but they're not really booked. But I got the, for one that I'm really trying to do is the Rock the Mic joint. At Chuck Alibis, I think that's October the 6th. I'm really trying to go out there and rock that joint with my man A-plus, you know what I mean? But I got the Life of a Stack mixtape out, Stack fan right now. Okay, I mean, okay. it, that, that's popping right now. I mean, that, that's the compilation with the whole camp. So we got a couple of videos that we about to drop. I just dropped my video for Don't Quit Your Day Drop intro, and I got the key song that I got on the mixtape. I mean, and other than that, I'm just grinding, man. I got, like, Eight shows lined up. I don't really want to say too much about them because they're not official. But once they drop that fifty percent deposit, it's on. I know that's right. And for uh, for all the people that know that that don't know, uh, Stax was one of the main characters in my web series, signed by any means. And like I expressed to uh, to him and my and my listeners, we got we got stuck on the first episode. I call it a brain fart. You know, Mr. Mike, I thought I could do this without a uh without a script. That shit didn't work. So we will be back at that. Oh yeah, you know, we're gonna go hard at it again. You already know. Yeah, you know, we just we just had to retool. But uh let the people know a little something about your character. Oh, I mean I play the ball stacks, you know what I mean? OG, I'm a rapper. I ain't really got my foot in the door, but I got the door open a little bit. But I got a young boy who I know got the potential to really make it. And I'm just trying to do whatever I got to do to get him to the next level. So, I mean, I'm out here in the streets for him. He needs studio time. I'm robbing niggas for that money. He got to put his CD out. I'm robbing niggas for that money. My young boy needs rent due for the house that he lives, that he's staying up in with the studio in it. I'm robbing niggas to do it. Like, that's just what I'm about. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sign. That's why we. That's why we called it "Sign by Any Means." So once again, people, it's my man Dark Stacks. 
Tell the people where they can find where they can follow you at, where they can